Hey, what's going on guys? We got a big monochrome masquerade box here. You know what that means? It's a premium band I released. This is of course the X Impulse based off of the Impulse Gundam redesigned by Naoki. So it's gonna be a really nice one. Let's get into it. So we'll start off taking a look at the box and its contents, but with this being a premium band I released, not gonna be too much to see here on the outside of the box. The box art is cool. It's all in this very just monotone light gray kind of color scheme. It's very light, but the Gundam does look very cool there on the front, the X Impulse. Going around here onto this side of the box, you can see it's a pretty thick box. It's definitely thicker than just the standard impulse box. And around here on the side is just going to be the text, but it does have this cool logo there. Blue Vault of Heaven there. I'm guessing we're going to have some cool water slide decals for that included, I believe. But let's just go ahead and get it opened up here and find out. So there is the decals. We'll take a look at those and all of the runners here in just a moment. Most importantly, just kind of taking a look at which runners are reused as they're there is going to be a fair amount of those, of course, and the witch runners are new. But here is the instruction manual where we have the box art image here in full color. It looks very nice. I do like the colorway for this one. Looking at the box art here, it looks like these parts are blue, right? But actually, they're just black. I forgot that it's actually, well, not black. They're just gray. They're just gray. They just kind of look blue there in that artwork on the front. Anyway, there is your color scheme for the kit. This is also your color guide down here at the bottom. This is just your decal guide here, but these are some nice reference images of what the kit is gonna look like, and that's gonna be your decal guide here as well on the back side of the manual. On the inside, we've got our parts list, and yeah, you can see quite a lot of X's there over parts that are not gonna be used for this, so with it being a premium Bandai variant, shouldn't come as too much surprise. We are gonna have a lot of leftover parts, but here's our coarse blenders, which we'll build first and then the rest of the construction all throughout here. At the very end, a little bit here about the transformation of that, so you can still separate it and transform it, I guess, like the original uh, Impulse Gundam, and do all of that fun stuff, and then you can use different backpacks on this as well if you wanted to. So for example, there's a Strike Noir backpack you can use by, I guess these are some included connection pieces, so that's pretty cool. Here we have our foil sticker sheet, which is just for the eyes and the head cameras, so quite minimal and not necessarily really even required. But more importantly, this beautiful water slide decal sheet, not very big, there's not a ton of decals here with this one, but you do have some very nice decals, mostly in black and white there, and quite unique markings for this one as well. You have a couple there in red, and this multicolor one there for the main logo right there, looks very nice, a couple of quite large logos there, all in white, and then you have the A, and black as well, really great decals. SB1 for our clear pink, reddish pink beam saber effect parts here in 100 scale. And for our polycaps here in gray, PC130 and PC130B attached onto there as well. So basically the first like two thirds of the runners is all just gonna be from the original Impulse Gundam, so I won't spend too much time on these. So here's runner A, we have it in four colors, as you can see on there, including the clear canopy piece there for the coarse blender. Runner B, we have two of for some more pieces here in white. Runner C as well, some more armor pieces in white here. Runner D we have two of. This D runner is in darker gray ABS plastic here for the MG100 scale seed X frame parts. This D runner is for the Impulse in particular in this lighter, slightly bluish, anyway it's a kind of a cooler gray color. Runner E here we have some parts in red. Runner G here we have some more weapons parts and detailed parts all here in gray. Runner H in a much darker gray, almost kind of black color here, a bunch more pieces, including a lot of our wing pieces there for the coarse blender. Runners I, J, and K are all gray ABS parts here for the Impulse Gundam frame. Runner I we have two of. Runner J, Runner K. Runner L is in that dark gray black color. This is from the Force Impulse. Release date for that, by the way, just going back to 2008. And then Runner M being the last of our parts here from the 2008 Impulse Gundam. These are just gonna be some more parts there in white, as you can see. Runner N1 then is going to be our first of the new runners for this kit. This is in four colors. We have a couple of orangish pieces over here, some red down there, some lighter gray up across the top, and then some medium gray throughout the center area. We do also have Runner N2, which is gonna be a copy of this section right here. Runner O1 and O2 is gonna be some new parts here in white. Runner P1 and P2 are going to be some new parts here in that dark gray. And lastly, runner P3 is this clear part here for the eyes and head cameras, basically for the entirely new head that this kit has. 
All right, guys, so here is the kit all done, and it's gonna be glowing with bright white light because the white on it is so bright, pure white on it. You're definitely gonna wanna panel line this guy, but let's go ahead and take a look at the kit, exactly how it's gonna look straight out the box. It's an awesome kit, really great redesign of the Impulse Gundam. Really not all that recognizable. At first sight, it doesn't look like the Impulse Gundam straight off the bat. Maybe around the knee, kind of upper section of the lower leg, but otherwise, it's got a lot of new armor around on it that really kind of disguises it from, like I said, being obviously just the Impulse Gundam. So it has a new look to it that I think works really well. The new design of it being much more detailed and with these sharp angles and bits everywhere, it looks really nice. Naoki did a really nice job on this one. It looks really cool. But as we get into talking about the accessories and what you get included with this, it would have been nice if it would have included a stand because I think this kit's definitely going to look better on a stand and that's where we'll move it here in just a moment. But as you can see, it does stand up on its own just fine even though it does have this quite very wide wingspan there on the backpack. There's a lot of stuff going on there on the back. Uh, it does stand up on its own and it kind of depends on your pose of course, but is an action base needed to simply get it to stand up? No, and that's always good. As for our other accessories, here we have the new rifle, which is mostly new, except it's using the beam saber handle in there as the barrel of the gun, which is interesting. And then it's using the camera and the secondary handle from the original beam rifle. Those are reused in this case, and they will move slightly like that. Oh, and that little white part there as well, also reused from the original beam rifle. But this is just gonna be held in the hand as normal. I don't anticipate that most people will probably use that tiny little secondary handle on there. I kind of think that it just kind of doesn't really suit the design of this beam rifle all that much, really, to be honest. But it's there, it's fine. This peg on this side will plug onto the back skirt of the kit right there for storage. Here is the shield, which I think looks really cool in this new color scheme here, just the white and off-white, and then with the yellow cross in the middle, once again, uh, just like normal, this shield opens up just like that to the full extension of the shield, and yeah, it looks really cool in this new color scheme. Around on the backside, you do have a handle for that, but you're probably not gonna use that. This will just plug right here onto the side of the arm. You could then use that to take the shield around to the back of the arm. It'll be a little bit kind of weird. We can do it like that if you wanted to have it on the back of the arm. Otherwise, just having it on the side like that, I think is gonna work really well. And you do also have a set of knives here which fold open like that. Now these can fit into the side skirts to be stored there. I just kind of leave them out. I don't really even bother putting them in there. But if you wanted to, for a place to store these, you can pop them into the side skirts easy enough. Then we've got our beam saber effect parts for the beam saber handles which are stored right up here in the backpack and the silhouette flyer for the backpack as well. So this one, if you wanted to have the backpack off of the Gundam and connect it onto this, you can make it as its own uh, big flyer there basically with all that backpack stuff attached onto the back of this. And speaking of small jets, the core splendor is still in there as well. It's just folded up, but you can take that out and have that. You can fully transform this kit. I'm not gonna demonstrate that in this review today just because I feel like for this particular Gundam, this is kind of the form that it's meant to be. It can still transform and the way you build it in the manual is you know, kind of the same as with the original kit where you build it in its transformed state first and then you make it into the Gundam. But just know guys that you can transform this if you want into the top flyer, bottom flyer, course blender, and the silhouette flyer if you wanted to separate everything out. If you did want to do that, you have different action base connectors for each section and different landing gear for each section. If you wanted to display it in like a landed state in its separated forms, you've got all the different pieces that you need for that. You've also got a alternate piece here for the back if you wanted to put a different striker pack, like for example, the Strike Noir backpack is what it shows in the manual. For an example, you can plug onto the back of this. You just need to swap out the parts on the back uh, for this piece right here, and then you can plug different backpacks onto this Gundam if you wanted to. And aside from the landing gear, you do also have this couple of missiles that go underneath the wings of the course blender. Our different finger parts for the hand, so it's just the thumb on a ball joint, and then the fingers are swappable, so you've got closed fist, open hands, and then your trigger finger extended holding hands, and non-trigger finger extended holding hands there for the beam saber, so you'll just swap those fingers as needed. And lastly, your little 1-100 scale standing pilot figures that you have included here as well, and that's it for all of the accessories. As for the articulation of this kit, it's gonna be the same as the original MG Impulse Gundam, so I won't get into it in too much detail. It's all pretty standard MG articulation here for this. 
except that because of the coarse blender gimmick in here, you're not really gonna have much of an ab crunch at all to speak of. Though the cockpit hatch does still open up here like that. You can't see the pilot figure, but the pilot, the seated pilot figure is inside the clear canopy part in the coarse blender, which is just folded up inside there in the back, but that's all in there. Most of what's new with this kit is all just armor, so it doesn't affect the articulation of it at all. So you can see like new armor piece here for the shin. The feet, obviously, I do love the redesign here of the feet, very cool. New armor here for around the thigh section. The front and back skirt armor is new. Obviously here on the chest, a lot of new armor here. Really nice color separation and details all around there. The head is almost entirely new, except for the gray piece on the inside of the head. And otherwise, everything else is a completely new mold here for the head. Really cool design for that. New armor here for the shoulders and this gauntlet part that attaches onto the side of the arm. Otherwise, the arm is, again, mostly original there. The backpack as well, very cool. A lot of really nice detail everywhere around on this. These lower wing bits can be moved around. Those are just on a ball joint, so you can move those around. These upper parts have a few points of articulation where you can bend these wings around like that. You can rotate this entire section here around like that if you wanted to move that. This can also rotate up and down like this as well. So you can move these wings kind of all around in every which way, although they're just not really meant to be like that. They're kind of just meant to be like this essentially. And then the coolest added detail of all, of course, has to be this massive spoiler up there on the backpack. Very cool. A lot of people had mixed opinions about that when it came to the age one normal. Gundam. I liked it. Some people don't like the spoiler. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about the spoiler on this Gundam. I like it just as much as I did on the Age, but I'm curious to know what you guys think. And other than that, guys, that's going to be pretty much it. It's a pretty straightforward Gundam in terms of kind of what it does and what's included there. You've got the beam rifle, beam sabers, and shield for your main accessories. You have more accessories for basically, that's all to do with if you want to transform the kit. But like I said, I feel like most people probably aren't getting this for the transformation. You want it just for the main Gundam. And so focusing on that part of it, you have a lot of leftover parts in terms of accessories for this that you're not going to use and then leftover parts in the box that are just leftover parts from the original uh, impulse kit that you're obviously not going to use at all for this kit. So a fair amount of leftover plastic here with this one. I do really like the redesign on this. As I said before, I think Naoki did an awesome job on this. It That is subjective though. I do understand, I could definitely understand if there's some people who don't like, you know, kind of how it's redesigned. There's certainly a much different style to this compared to the original impulse, but that's what I think is really nice about this kit as I said earlier in that just looking at it it really doesn't come off it, at first as a version of the impulse Gundam it looks like its own totally separate thing which is great so you can see how much of a difference just changing some armor pieces around changing the color scheme and all that can change the overall look of the kit but yeah obviously around the knee and the section there in the middle of the legs is gonna be a pretty obvious impulse section there just because I feel like he probably should have changed up the knee armor as well. I think that would have been beneficial because this fit, like those vents in the sides of like the calves are so iconic. They're a very easily recognizable part of the impulse design. But other than that, it looks almost entirely completely new in my opinion. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about this Gundam? I think it's a really great kit and as you can see just a ton of detail on there. So once this is painted or at the very least just a panel lined, put the decals on there, put some top coat on it and it's going to be a really good looking kit just straight out of the box even if you just don't do uh, fully painting it but let me know your guys thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below thank you so much for checking out the video today and of course if you want to check out some more gumpla everything else from bandai you can check the link to usa gundam store down in the video description and if you do need any tools for customizing or panel lining paints tool supplies all that good stuff you can check that out there at usa gundam store as well until next time, guys, hope you all have a great day. If you'd also like to like and or subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. But I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.